Hey guys, Zane here from h1z1db.net. Uh, figured it's about time I gave you an overview of our Upload Manager tool. It's been around for some time now. It acts as a bridge between your game and our website, allowing you to do various things by automating the posts to the site instead of you having to tab out of game and copy stuff into a box anywhere. So I'm just going to create a new character on a, on a new server and we'll get started. Okay, so I've just spawned in. I'm in the woods somewhere. Um, I've got my upload manager tool running in the background, currently on version 0.7. Um, and as you can see from the map in the bottom corner, I've got my private squad selected. So that means anything I post is just going to go directly into that squad. It's not going to be seen by my squad members in any other groups that I'm in. Um, you know, it's important to say that this program that we've written, it doesn't look at your game files. You know, it doesn't look at your memory. It certainly doesn't, you know, do anything dodgy or out of order. Um, it works by listening to your um, clipboard, your computer's clipboard. Um, and when it finds some commands or some text that it recognises, it simply posts them to the website via a, a back-end interface. And these are then reacted on your map and your map takes effect. And, you know, that's what we're trying to promote. Okay, so with all that said, first command we're going to try and we're going to show you today is the lock command or the output from lock you know widely used by many sites we automate the posting of this giving you a real time ish view on our map of where your character is so we type in lock like we normally would we press tab to enable the mouse we highlight the block and we press control and you can see now you hear the audible beep straight away recognizing that a command has been accepted and you can see your map has moved in the bottom corner. The map has moved to show my position and the direction I'm facing. Now this is really useful. It's it's ideal when you've got a collection of squad members playing. You can see at any one time where they are, and every time they do an update, it reacts and shows you, you know, them as they're moving, which is pretty cool. Um, the map's currently shown at zoom level two, so I'm just going to go ahead and change that now. New command we've added is zoom. Um, followed by a number between 1 and 9 representing the zoom levels. For now I'm just going to show you zoom 5. Type in the command, press shift and home to copy the text or use your mouse and press ctrl and c. Another audible beep is sound and you can see straight away the map has been updated and reflects the new zoom level. I'll just do another example, I'll take it back up to the top, zoom 2. Shift and home, control and C. And there we have it. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing that we're going to show you today, something really useful we believe we've added, is the ability to have a crafting pop up on your map. Um, again, you know, you don't need to tab out or anything like that. You can do it all from this command interface that we've created. So you can just type in craft equals followed by the item that you want to show the recipe for. Um, I'll try a furnace. Type it in, press shift and home, control and C. The command is recognized. You see instantly a little pop-up appear on the map, giving you details of what you need to make a furnace. Um, obviously you can tap out and click on that little close button to close that window if you wanted to, but we figured it would just be much easier just to type in a uh, a close command, I'll give you a close command, so we type in close, press shift and home, control and C, that closes the window. So nice and simple little interface there, so you can type in and do as many crafting lookups as you need to do. So the next command I want to show you, as you can see in the bottom corner, I've enabled all the POI on my map. If I want to quickly remove that, um, and I'm in the game, I can do the clear all command. If I type that in, press shift and home, Control and C. That's a nice quick way of removing everything off your map. Um, coupled with that, we've also created a show command. And this is a way to turn on various um, POI back on if you should need them. Um, so now I will just show you the well, for example. Show well. Shift and home or highlight with your mouse. And then press Control and C. And there you go. All the wells are now visible on the map. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so 
the next commands we've got relate to um, battle royale. Um, the first one is to show the grid. Nice simple command: show br grid. Shift and home, control and C. And as you can see, the grid comes on. That's nice and quick, you know. Nice quick reference. Um, so I showed you the show command a moment ago. Something else we can do with the show command. We type in show and then a grid reference. Um, D5, for example, right in the middle of Pleasant Valley. Shift and home, control and C. There we go. Coupled with the zoom command, you can zoom into various areas once you're in that grid reference. Um, we've got no way to move around there at the moment. That's perhaps something we can look at in the future. North or west, something like that. Maybe do it in blocks so you can move around the map without having to worry about doing it out of game. Okay, so let me just zoom out again quickly. Go back up to the top. Okay, so now we're back at the top level zoom. Um, the last command that I've got to show you today is a simple hide BR grid. As the name suggests, it just does the opposite to what we did a moment ago. So that's it guys, that's all I've got for you now. You know, we're we're adding commands all the time, we're trying to make the service as interesting, as useful as we can. We appreciate all the support and encouragement we're getting on Twitter and Facebook and everywhere. It's great to see so many people using the site every day. Um, and we just hope it's a real asset to the H1Z1 community. So, check out any more videos we post, guys. We'll see you on the map. We'll see you soon. Cheers.